I look in the mirror and my whole face is just like, wait, you're done? I've never gotten a wig installed to where you could see the track in the wig. I'm never booking you again. I'm never telling anybody to go to you. I'm actually telling them to stay far away. The worst experience with a hairstylist I've ever had in my life. to my channel get ready with me as i tell you how this hairstylist try to play in my face all right i need a snack so i'm actually making a bagel right now so don't mind me i need to eat a little bit because i got a very very busy day ahead of me but let's get started it's in the toaster right now so if y'all see me dip it come back and be stuff in my face don't judge me okay um also welcome to the tribe if you're brand new here hit that subscribe button right now like share this comment all that good stuff i'm gonna tell y'all what to look for when you need to be booking a hairstylist especially a new one okay so let's get into it i'm gonna first start off with this rose water that i got from bali to get my face a little hydrated because your girl's getting dry right now okay so first off let me start by telling you I usually do not be booking with random people. Sometimes, or like majority of the times, I need a recommendation. I need somebody that went to this person before to like vouch for them. So, hold on y'all, let me. This is the first product that I'm going in with. This is my Range Beauty. It's like a face moisturizer slash primer. So, and it's made for the girls with dry skin. So, get into it. Um, also, don't judge me. I gotta go get my nails done in like two hours. This one just broke yesterday, but so yeah, like I was saying, the girl I saw that she had did like two of my friends' hairs who are like big influencers. One of them is a celebrity, so I'm like, all right, cool. They were tagging her. I actually met the girl in real life. She was around, so everybody was like, oh yeah, she did my hair. She did my hair. Cool. So I'm like, all right, awesome. So keep in mind, y'all, I have a show. I have a performance that I'm getting ready for. So also keep in mind, I usually have my people that I go to, but I was like, you know what? My homegirl that used to do my hair when I was back in Jersey, I love her to pieces, but she would take some time. Like granted, she was a perfectionist. It was amazing every time she did my hair, but sometimes I didn't have like six hours out of my day to like sit and get my hair done. So I was like, you know what? Let me just try this new girl, cool. So I hit her up, I'm like, hey babe, just wanna reach out. I wanted to get my hair done by you. I have a show this day. Do you think you'll be able to do it? First of all, I booked her for the day of my show. That's one. As the date is approaching and getting closer, I decide to tell her or ask at least, hey babe, do you actually have the day before available? Because I don't know how my day of is gonna be for the show. The show was a little farther out. I had a driver, everything set. So I didn't wanna like, I don't want anything to go wrong. So also internally, my spirit was like, tell her to do your hair the day before, not the day of. Cause it's also the first time she's doing my hair. But like I said, she's done some of my like celebrity friends hairs before these influencer girls, she's done their hair before. So I'm like, all right, cool. So first I'm going to do my brows. I always do my brows first. I go in actually with this edge booster. I'm gonna take this brush, dip it, and then let's go. Let me move up a little bit. So she ends up telling me like, hey girl, yes, you can come the day before, awesome. I have, at the time I was wearing my blonde wigs, my 613 bust down wigs. That was my thing, I loved it, I was here for it. And this was a brand new wig that I think a company has sent me. So I was like, all right, cool, it's gonna be dope. So I get to her house, the setup is so pretty, it got this green wall, it got the lights, she got the whole shebang, like the whole thing. So she takes the wig out of the bag, red flag number one. She like puts the wig on my head and I'm like, okay, like obviously she wants to see how it, what type of wig it is. Is it a 13 by four, is it a 13 by six, is it a full frontal, whatever it is. Like I feel like everybody's processing the process, so whatever. So. I'm like, okay. She starts like really working on the wig at this point. Meanwhile, like no 
what are they called? No knots have been bleached, nothing. She literally puts the wig on my head and like starts to work on it. And I'm just like, still in my head, I don't know too much about wigs at this point. So I'm like, maybe this is her process. This is how she do her thing. She's working on it. And I'm like, I see the knots. The knots is like not bleached. They're still kind of black. I'm like, what's going on? So still, I'm like, all right, let her do her thing. But internally, I'm not gonna lie y'all, my spirit be feeling everything inside. I'm like, I'm not going to like my hair, bro. I'm not gonna like my hair, I'm not gonna like my hair. I'm going in with some comments, y'all. I usually have my, um, it's, it's called Buddha something. I usually get it from Trader Joe's, but I lost it. So Carmax, we using it today. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get my bagel. BRB, y'all. Don't mind me. Mm. Mm. Mm, okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I should have waited. So next, ooh, I go in with my Sasha Buttercup powder. All right, you guys, sorry, my other camera, it was, I think, overheating and doing the weirdest stuff. So we back on this one. So yeah, anyways, so I, <laughs> let's get back to the makeup. I just put some powder on my brows and now i'm about to go in with a brow pencil just to give it some shape so anyways this girl starts doing my hair inside my stomach is bubbling because i'm like i know that i've gotten my hair done multiple times and this don't feel right so keep in mind also like her instagram page everything to me look good everything all every everybody looked beautiful on the page she had a lot of like celebrity people on there so i'm like okay like i said my homegirls had gotten their hair done by her so i was like all right cool so she gets we're probably like 50 percent in and i just stop and i'm just like can i see it real quick so i'm looking i still see like crazy knots in my head, I'm really trying to make it all make sense because I'm like, maybe she got a technique that I don't know about and she goes back in afterwards and like has this way of like bleaching it. I don't know, y'all. I'm still learning about hair and wigs and all of that. So I'm just like, okay, the hairline is a little bit off. Obviously, she hadn't put in any like makeup or anything on the on the lace, so it wasn't matching me, but it was also like it those knots are black. Like I see it and it just does not look good at all. And I'm just like I tell her, I'm like, okay, are you gonna put makeup here? And what's the sitch with the knot? She was like, girl, I got you, don't worry about it. I'm like, okay, keep in mind, this is probably the most I've spent in or on the East Coast for an install. I don't mind paying whatever it is as long as the quality is good. So at the end of it, she was like, all right, girl, you done, you ready to see it? And that's something else that I don't really like also. When it comes to makeup, I'm cool with like the surprise aspect of it. I do that with people because especially a lot of the clients that I used to have when I was doing makeup, they were like brand new to makeup and they never did it before. And they were just like, oh, I want to be surprised. Cool. Hair, baby, I need to see what's going on because I feel in my heart that you're not doing what you're supposed to do. And I look in the mirror and my whole face is just like, wait, you're done? Oh, <laughs> no, you're not done run this back what i was so confused yo because i'm like i have a show tomorrow by the grace of god i literally said and put god put it in my spirit ask the girl to do your hair the day before the show i hated my hair like the part was so off you could see the track in the wig because it was a 13 by 4 she had the nerves to blame it on the wig she was like uh well you wanted a side part and the way that the wig is set up you uh it kind of will be shown this is what really pissed me off she was like but it's covid time like people really shouldn't be that close to you anyways what the audacity the audacity of you to say that and was trying to like just move the hair a little bit to try to get the track to not show and i'm just like girl what this is not it i don't know what you're used to doing but this, what you did on my head is not okay. And I'm really sitting there trying to be patient and trying to figure it out with her. And it's just not working. I'm like, there's nothing that you can do. You didn't bleach the knots. You didn't do anything that like, I feel like you should have done. And 
it just was a sucky process i feel like i was so angry about the story i didn't even really fully get to get ready but i was so angry i was so mad because i feel like i keep seeing these videos too on tiktok about people having terrible horror stories when it comes to like hairstylists or people in the beauty industry and it's unfortunate because i feel like when i was in the beauty industry thank god rarely was it an occasion where somebody's like, okay, can you just do this? Or can you add this or fix this? But I'm so open to it. I don't mind that. But this girl, it was like, she really had in her head that she just killed that hair. And I'm like, you did not do anything. I literally was like, and I'm not gonna lie. I was dating a guy too at the time that was super, super lit. And he's very like analytical and he could see, he know the girl's wigs and weaves and what's going on. So I'm like, if I can see it, this can go and see it too. But I'm like, the audacity of you to say it's COVID and nobody should be that close to you anyways is crazy. And in my head too, I'm like, I'm taking photos. I'm on camera. The pride in people's work nowadays, it blows my mind that they have none. Like you're really okay with me looking like this. This is a representation of you and your work. So let's start over and go back to when I said she had did celebrities hair, my homegirl's hair, everything. When I go back, I found out she did not install the hair. She styled the hair. So the hair was already installed by whoever my friends had hired to install the hair. And all she did was style it and take credit for it. So that was that. And when I tell you, this girl still wanted every single dime. And I really only paid her that money because I was like, I met you through some people that I actually value and respect. So I'm going to pay you this money because at the end of the day, word of mouth is everything. Not that I care what people say, but when it comes to like people running off and not paying for services and stuff like that, you never know who people really are. And this girl was already giving me kind of like stank low energy too. Like she would do that and like would love to chit chat and be like, yeah, and she didn't want to pay me. Da -da -da. I didn't want to pay you at all because of how my hair looked. I've never gotten a wig installed to where you could see the track in the wig and a stylist be okay with that. So I'm just tight y'all at this point. I paid her, I paid her her money, and she had the nerve to be like, yeah, well, whenever you're ready to book again, whatever you, um, if you need anything changed or whatever, just let me know, call me, I'll be here. I'm never booking you again. I'm never telling anybody to go to you. I'm actually telling them to stay far away. So then, I get in the car, bro, I bust out in tears. Like, I'm so tight, I'm so mad. For so many reasons, I'm mad that I just spent my money with this girl who I feel like ruined my wig, ruined my day, and I'm tight with myself because I just spent this bread and I also could have gave that money to my homegirl that I was initially going to go to, but I wanted to try this girl because I was like, all right, cool, let me let me just try it. So then I end up having to like call my homegirl like, I'm sorry, I'm crying, I'm in tears. I'm like, friend, I I did something I wasn't supposed to do. I was like, I went to try to go support another hairstylist. It did not work out. She ruined this wig. I have a show tomorrow. I'm in tears. I don't know what to do. Do you have any availability today? She was like, yes, girl. She was like, come over right now. And I show, I'm showing her over FaceTime. She like, oh, it don't look that bad. I said, wait till you see it in person. Just wait. I get to my friend's house. She was like, oh. she undid everything. She removed the whole wig, took everything off, and we had to start from scratch. From scratch, bro. But I tell you, that was probably the worst experience with a hairstylist I've ever had in my life and still wanted all your money and still was like, couldn't fix it. So then, out of curiosity, I'm like, let me just go on her page because ain't no way, ain't no way that these girls or she was that comfortable with letting me leave like that, knowing who I am too. And I've met you through my celebrity friends and you know who I am. Ain't no way you're that comfortable doing stuff like this unless you really often do things like this and you're really only getting booked because you have like celebrity hairstylists or whatever inside of your bio. First of all, I did learn that lesson too. Don't get fooled by that. I don't care what celebrity anything people say, unless you are arrogant, hey baby, I don't wanna hear nothing about no celebrity, da 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 Because especially if you have filters all up and down your page, that was another thing that I learned. If you are trying to book a hairstylist, bro, and they have 
people that are filtered down and you don't see any of their work without a filter, that is a red flag. That is a hairstylist booking red flag, bro, I promise you. Because as I'm looking, I'm like, oh my God, wait, this girl, I can see her track too. Oh my God, this girl, I can see her track too. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. Like, it's either people are not saying nothing, people are just caught up on the fact that you kind of sort of do celebrities hair, but in this instance, I don't even know if you do celebrities hair. I just feel like you may have styled it because the install is not installing. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. And I'm not, I'm not that person to bash nobody, but I'm like, tighten up. Like, I would never be okay with somebody leaving my space and me providing a service being so unhappy. I was so unhappy and I had a whole show. And I literally was like, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for allowing me to have in my spirit to go to this girl the day before my show. Because if I went to her the day of my show, do you know how crazy that could have got? I would have been like, you better cough up one of your wigs right now. Take this shit off and cough up one of your wigs because I'm not doing this. Nope. Nope. I'm not playing. I don't play about my art. I don't play about my craft. I don't play about people spending their money with me. I'm always going to put my best foot forward. I'm never going to have you leaving like, oh, well, thanks. Like, okay. No, I want everybody to be happy. When I was doing makeup, bro, I promise you, I never had one bad customer that was like unhappy or sad. Everybody felt so beautiful. If they didn't like something or needed something added or taken away, it got changed with the quickness. It was never an issue. But this one was just like, I just want my money. Like <laughs> that blew my mind, blew my mind. I'm sorry, I'm not even telling y'all what products or anything I'm using. I got so mad all over again. And I'm like, ah, so that pissed me off. Let me get back into the makeup, I'm sorry y'all. So I'm gonna have to do some sorcery when it comes to my foundation because I'm running out of this other foundation that I really, really like by Tower 28. This is a very clean brand that I really, really love. My lighting is so off. Hold on y'all. So yeah, like I said, I gotta do some sorcery when it comes to my foundation because I've been like mixing two to actually get my color. So what I'm doing underneath my brow is this Hydrating Camel Concealer by e.l.f. A lot of people, it's so funny. So many people, especially when I'm working, they're like, yo, what do you use on your face? And majority of the time, it is e.l.f. I promise you. That's, I create foundations with the e.l.f. concealers. So that's the brow, that's what it's giving. I'm gonna go back in with this, um, this rose water just to like hydrate my face again. I also, I found these things at this Korean, um, what is it called? Korean beauty thing. This, I've showed, I've showed it before. It's called One Day's You. And this is the Help Me Real Collagen pads that I use on my face that I really, really love a lot. I wish I had one of those like beauty refrigerators because I would definitely put it in there. It feels so good on the skin already without it being cold, but I can only imagine what it feels like when it is cold. I'm just gonna put this on the rest of my skin because I forgot to do this. This is definitely a part of my skincare regimen. Um, so I just take it out like this and then just rub it all over my face. And it's okay that I put the toner and primer and stuff on before, it's fine. It just hydrates the skin and it makes it feel so, so, so good. Oh. So yeah, y'all. Anyways, I say this to say, Bro, stick to who you know does your hair well, <laughs> especially if you know you got an important event, you got something to do. Baby, that is not the time to be trying no new people. I promise you that girl was so lucky that I had patience that day. And I didn't even say nothing to my other homegirls because I just was like, I don't know. I'm not even a catty person. I just take things for what they are and I keep it pushing. But when I tell you I was so mad, I was so mad. For me to have to go in the car and cry, bro. I was so hurt. So I say all that to say, my homegirl came through in a clutch. Shout out to my girl, Tay. I'm gonna put her information down below as well. Cause when I tell you she, she bodied my wig and granted it took some time because we had to literally uninstall what that girl had did to reinstall the hair, but we did it. And I ended up taking her with me to the show and everything. She ended up styling it the day of too. So. 
I was so grateful for her. And it makes it so hard to like work with other people and just be exploring out here. Number one, your hair, your crown, your scalp, that's like, that's so intimate. So that showed me too, like, stop just going to these people. Like, you can't just be testing and trying out everybody <clears throat> with your hair and with your scalp. Like, that's such an intimate thing. I don't want to do that no more. But on the plus side, Halloween's in like two days. Is it two days? I think. What y'all doing for Halloween? What y'all gonna be? I have no idea. I had this whole plan of things I wanted to do for Halloween. And I got so, so, so busy. And as y'all know, I just went to Bali. This video may come out before my, ba my Bali vlog does, and that's okay. Y'all, just make sure you are subscribing so that you can see everything. Because Bali, baby, was a time. Was a time. My girl, Glamazante, did her big one. I needed that trip so bad. And I was so happy that I went. And it's so funny. I'm like... It's such a crazy world that we live in. And it's so unfortunate because I feel like people see things on Instagram or social media. And the first thing that they think is like, oh, a dude is doing this for her. Oh, who's she talking to? Oh, who's she dating? Who's taking her on these trips? Baby, me. Okay? Me and Tay. Because my girl literally was like, yo, just book your flight. I got the room. Don't worry about it. Just come. And I'm just like... People really was thinking like a whole man had sponsored my trip. And I'm not, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing because baby, a sponsor is a sponsor. We love that. We love when a man shows his appreciation and I love gifts. That is my love language. Like, and I let that be known. But ain't none of, ain't none of them sponsor nothing. Okay. I sponsored it. And that felt so good to just be like, no. No, ain't no man was here being like, oh, let me let me fly you out. Let me do it. No. So I say all that to say, as a woman, you should really be able to have the lifestyle that you want with or without a man there. Like, I feel like it's a beautiful thing, like I said, when a man can provide for his woman. And that is so special to me. And I believe in that. This is about to look very, very crazy because this color that I got is way too light for me, but I'm about to mix it so that it makes sense. This one is medium neutral way too light this is another elf product but like i said bear with me y'all they're back the camera is getting so hot i think it's just too much going on or it's too much tea that i'm spilling um i have to hurry up and beat my face like very very quickly so i'm gonna put all the products below but i have a nail appointment in like an hour like i said do not judge me the process will be the process um Damn, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so yeah, it was just funny, all the people thinking that a man had sponsored this Bali trip. <laughs> Meanwhile, it was me, baby. And that made me feel so good. I'm not gonna lie, I've been working so, oh my God. <laughs> this looks crazy. This looks absolutely insane. But when you know what you're doing, this looks like I'm doing a Halloween thing. Oh my God. <laughs> So yeah, done. Just kidding, y'all. I'm never go out the house like that. So then I end up mixing. I look like I'm in Whoville, like the Grinch. I end up mixing that first concealer color. This one is Deep Olive with this to kind of give me the actual tone of my skin that I like. So yeah. Um, <laughs> actually, you know what? While we're here, I, I just gave y'all a cool... <clears throat> Halloween horror story of a hairstylist. If y'all got any questions or anything like that, let me know. I'm not the type of person to bash nobody's business, so I didn't want to put her out there like that, and I'm just not going to do that. But I, I wish I had pictures and stuff. I think I was just so upset. I didn't even have time for that. Like I was just like, I'm not doing any of that. I just need to figure out who's doing my hair, how this is going to end up because i have a show the next day but while we're here i still got a little bit more time you see you see the blend you see if you know what you're doing it's gonna work out and i'm doing this with a quickness i usually do a way better job because I really don't be like beating my face. I give my, my face a lot of grace and love. Right now, I'm like, just come on girl, work with me. 
but I'm going to, I did a Q&A thing on Instagram and I just asked people to ask me questions. So I'm gonna answer a couple of them. And if y'all have any questions for me too, if there's anything y'all want me to answer specifically, whether it be about Bali, whether it be about life, whether it be about love, whether it be about whatever, y'all let me know. Don't forget that chin, y'all. Don't forget that neck either. OMG. Um, but yeah, let me get to those questions. Let me see what they were. Um, so these are some of the questions and don't mind me. My hair looks a mess. I got to take my hair out also. That's something that definitely has to be done. Um, somebody asked me, when is the house warming? So by the grace of God, I have a friend and roommate that is exactly the same with me when it comes to certain things. And I think initially getting our place we thought it was so beautiful and we were like oh my god we can't wait to have a house warming oh my god this is gonna be awesome oh my god the more we got in tune with like how we both live and how we both feel in this place is like we don't want to do it <laughs> we got to a point where we're just like okay y'all can send gifts if y'all want to and we have a whole amazon list we still got some things on there if y'all want to get it please do it's in the box below in the description box but i didn't feel like doing it i didn't want all the energy in the house and she felt the same way and i'm so happy we both did sorry i'm going in with the shade 55 temescal in the tower 28 foundation so we really just got to the point where we're like, we love our friends. Whoever needs to come over, they do already. But we don't want no extra energy. We don't feel the need to like entertain multiple people in our home. Like, we didn't want to do it. So I say all that to say, the housewarming is not happening. But the house is warm. If y'all want to send anything, send it true. And I also have a, a P.O. box that I have as well. Um, I know a couple people wanted to send some things to me, so if y'all want me to do any unboxings or anything like that, just send it. Send it, send it, send it. So, yeah, that was that. How do y'all feel about housewarmings? Like, I, I get it, and it sounded like a great idea, especially because this was, like, my first place. But I also was like, nah. I'm good without it. And we both felt the same way. And I'm so happy she did. So. Yeah. Alright. It's coming together. It's coming together. I think I'm going to put a hat on my head. If y'all see my hair right now. It has to come out. It is embarrassing how crazy my hair looks right now. But I'm just letting it rock. Because I've been working so much. And I've been just putting oil and stuff in my scalp. Just to keep it like not dry. So this shade. I'm almost done with it. And I really wanted this color. Instead of this super light one. But this one is shade medium beige by, once again, e.l.f. I told y'all I really could do my whole face with e.l.f. products. So I go back in underneath the eye. Carve out the nose a bit. Oh, this is me rushing. So yeah. No housewarming over here, but I love y'all. <laughs> Next question. When are we getting new music? The fans want to know. The fans want to know. The new music is coming, baby. I actually am working on my live shows right now because I, y'all know your girl loves to perform. Like, that's my thing. That's my strongest thing. Like, I actually really can sing and I've really put on a great show. And now I'm just fine tuning it because I want y'all to like, my shows already be turned and lit and people already be like oh my god i just love to watch you on stage but i really want to take it to the next level and i really want to tour and i really want to get so just sharp with my having live instrumentation live music a live band and live vocals with that mic on okay i want it to just feel so so good so that's what i'm doing right now and sometimes it takes a little bit of time and I still am creating amazing music. I actually just got a feature from one of my favorite artists ever. 
and it was a dream and the way that it happened was so special and so beautiful and i really thank ashley for helping me with the process too because my girl been really like holding me up with it and like helping me a lot with just re-inspiring me for my music and just putting out even great ideas and stuff too and we had this idea from this artist that we both love so so much and i reached out to him and baby <laughs> we got a feature <laughs> okay so i'm so happy about that i'm like ecstatic i don't want to even say who it is just yet but i'm excited about it and he is a vocal beast okay vocal vocal beast it's so crazy what makeup can do it's od actually i'm about to go in and like carve my face with some product sometimes i'll use a cream but i don't really like the creams i like using powders but if i do use a cream it's usually like a stick foundation because i just feel like those blend more as opposed to like the liquid ones that kind of stain unless you go in right away and sculpt the face so it's coming together so I'm gonna pour some of this Sasha Buttercup powder into this thing. God, I can't wait to get my nails done. Laura, send, send somebody that want to, I'm not gonna say trick on me. <laughs> that wanna take me to get my nails done. Nails are expensive, baby. That's why I've been doing my press-ons. Cause, and I think they pissed me off to the place that I went to. They're good, they weren't great, but they did a, a good job. But initially, the girl, that's why too sometimes I be liking to look like a bum when I go get my nails done because I feel like based off of how expensive you be looking, that's what makes them want to charge a different price. Because the girl started off saying one price on the phone, I get there, it's a different price, cool. Now it's another $10 from the price that you just said five seconds ago. And I'm just like, girl, what's the price? It got to the point where she was pissing me off so bad because she kept switching the price. I was like, I don't even want you doing my nails anymore. I'll take somebody else because I don't, mm -mm, we're not doing that. I just, I don't like stuff like that. Tell me what the price is. Don't switch it up when you think that, oh, this person got a little bit more money. Like, I don't like stuff like that because it's just ethics. Like, that's just weird to me. I don't increase prices for people where I'm like, oh, they look like they got a little coin. No, the price is the price. If they want to pay extra, cool. And I'm that type of person. I'm not going to not tip you. I'm not going to not look out for you, especially if you do a damn good job. But don't do not do that. And in my face, is crazy. So, yeah. Favorite feature you've ever done with someone? Literally, that's, that's another question that somebody asked. Um, that's the one that I just did. And I cannot wait for you guys to hear it because, like I said, he is a vocal beast who I have been a fan of for years for years also i got a question for y'all who do y'all want me to do a song with like let me know who y'all hear on my project who do y'all feel like would be a good addition for working with me or like just being on my on my project and it's gonna be an ep y'all i'm not doing no album i'm doing a good seven song number possibly six y'all let me know who y'all feel I forgot my other palette. I'll be right back. This is my favorite palette. I've used this palette forever. This is the Morphe. I think it's, what is it? Dare to Create palette. Boom. Okay. I'm doing a simple look today. I'm not even going crazy because I don't even have that much time. <clears throat> and I still want to film another piece of content before I leave the house. So next question. Okay, where's your favorite place to travel? I'm not going to lie. I love Jamaica so much. When I say I had the time of my life in Jamaica, I had a ball. And it was just so fun. I felt so free. Everything iry over there. Okay. I love Jamaica. So that is honestly one of my favorite places. And I may be going back there. I told myself I'm living this year. Like, I don't care what is going on. Life is so short. I want to live my life. If I want to travel somewhere, I'm going to go. Bali was amazing for me because after traveling there and as many hours as that was, I literally feel like I can travel anywhere. Okay? That was that was definitely a thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like I just want to do a brown all over my lid, to be honest, just to keep it 
simple. All right, next question. Jamaica and St. Martin. St. Martin was crazy. And I don't know if y'all seen my story time about how I got stuck in St. Martin for two weeks. If you haven't seen my story time, check it out. The link will be below. But I literally had the time of my life in St. Martin. I loved it. I would insert a clip from what was happening while I was in St. Martin, but I do not want to get no flags. And that video is definitely giving flag energy, big flag energy. So yeah, we're not going to put that there, but I was, I was living, okay? Living it up. Next, what would you eat for the rest of your life? Woo, baby, I'm so simple. What y'all think? First, what y'all think I would eat? For the rest of my life. And don't be nasty either. <laughs> Honestly, I would eat if I if nothing would happen to me and like I could still be super super healthy, I would eat a grilled cheese for the rest of my life. I would eat mac and cheese for the rest of my life. I would eat edamame for the rest of my life. Um I love those things. I love grilled cheese sandwiches. I feel like that's one thing that I always just loved as a kid. And it just makes me feel nostalgic. Like I'll, as a grown adult, will still go somewhere and be like, um, can I have a grilled cheese please? <laughs> like I love a good grilled cheese. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else, anything pasta related though too. I love like a good mushroom pasta. I just love to eat. I love food so much. Love food so much. So now I'm gonna go underneath my eye and just with that same brown color that I had. I'm sorry y'all, I'm not really giving y'all all the products that I'm using, but if y'all have any questions about any specific product or brushes that you see me using, just let me know. But as you can see, basically my whole face was done with e.l.f. products and then I had went over it or just the out, outer perimeter of my face with my Tower 28 foundation. I got that foundation because I, a lot of products have a lot of chemicals in it and a lot of just bad things. So I'm really trying to get more familiar with brands that are cleaner, that don't have crazy toxins inside of it and don't like put your body at in jeopardy because to be honest like people forget your skin is an organ bro like whatever you put on your skin is going within your system and i wear makeup all the time i love it i have times where i wear or i don't wear it and i just love my natural face and that's cool it's beautiful but even those products with washing your face you need to be just mindful about what you're putting on it because even though it's a topical thing it's still going inside of your body in some type of way so you guys were back the camera <sighs> got hot again but i'm almost done so we're gonna try to wrap this up so i just put my mascara on i it's crazy sometimes i mean the cheaper products that really just work best for me this one is by great lash and it's so cheap oh crap hold on y'all one sec hello darling you're not working today are you huh no Okay. <laughs> oh God, no! They tried to get me today too. I was like, I'm not working today. Y'all are wilding. Okay, I will. All right, boo. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, I'm supposed to be going to a whole Halloween party tonight, and I don't know what's where. <laughs> Lord. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm about to put on this Lady Be Good Mac. This is a matte lip stain that I love. This is what I usually do. I'll just put a coat on my lips like this. Rub it together. This is my Morphe Trendsetter Pencil. And I will overline my lips like this. Honestly, I may go to a thrift store. I low-key want to be Monica in the video. And I love 
ask you for that, baby. I need to find those shoes and a little brown fit and call it a day. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me hurry up. Before I go, this is a Morphe. This is a foundation, but I use this a lot as a lip, too. And I just take this brush. You can take any brush, really, that's a lip brush, but this one is just easy for me. And I just go within those two colors and... I just like the color that it just brings. It's so pretty to me. Like the transition. Woo! Baby, fire. Boom. <laughs> okay. So let's close this baby up. I like to let my powder stay on as long as humanly possible. Um, so I then go in with my foundation brush and kind of just pat that in. Boom. Pat it into the face. Pat it into the face. Yeah. Then I did not do any like carving on my cheeks. I'm gonna go back in with this and then grab my blush brush or contour brush. Take one of these browns and go to pound town. Let me stop. Carve out those cheeks just to add a little bit more definition. I forgot about tonight. <clears throat> Here I am thinking, oh, I can just go get my nails done and da da da, and I'm chilling. I'm not chilling tonight, baby. Carve out my cheeks so I can get some definition. Boom. Woo! That face is sitting, okay? So then I go in with this type of brush. This is really like a. Define, defining brush, I guess. And I'll do the tip of my nose. Ooh, like that. And I go down the bridge of my nose. Like that. And that is it. That is how I get a flawless beat. Now I got some mascara on. Whenever you get any mascara on or whatever, y'all, let it dry and then go back in with like a spoolie and brush it off. Because if you try to do it when it's wet, you're going to be very upset. Now just go back in with like a foundation brush. Brush that out a little bit. And I'm going to add my mole and then I am done. Boom. And I love you for that, baby. I really want to be Monica. All right, you guys. So this was my get ready with me, my Halloween horror story. Jesus, I'm so mad that that happened to me. I hope that that never happens to anybody else. But all you should get from this, all these takeaways that I gave you, do not trust if somebody has a lot of filters all over their page and all over their work for makeup, for hair, all of that. Don't trust it. Two, I would say get a recommendation from somebody, but I did that and that didn't really work. Three, just go up and down their page and just see what's it really giving because sometimes it don't be giving that, especially if they got filters and they blurring out the, the lace and all of that good stuff. And four, go to the people that you know. Stop trying and testing all these people just because they are celebrity nail tech, celebrity this, celebrity that, who cares? As long as they do good work, go there, spend your money with them and yeah. Also, I feel like, too, as much as some, some people be like, oh, I'm not paying them, I'm not paying them, just pay them they bread so that they can't even say nothing. Like, I get, 
I, I don't know. Y'all may disagree with me on that. It is what it is. But I'm always going to pay for it regardless of how it turns out. Just because I'm like, I don't want to be that person to not do that. Like, granted, if it's bad service, it's bad service. But I just don't tip if it's bad service or it's just something I'm like, ew, no, this is terrible. But I do pay. But anyways, I love you guys. I have a full day ahead of me. I have to go get ready. So I have to stop talking to y'all. But I love you so much. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If there are certain videos that you guys want, put it below. Um, I would love to do more story times with y'all. I still have more questions that I have to answer and all of that stuff. I'll do, I'll do more for the next video. I promise. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.